Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your May 16th to the 31st, 2019. That's 2019 finance and career reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel, for all your support. You guys are absolutely amazing and I wouldn't be here without you. So thank you all so very much. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information is going to be pinned to the top of the comment box below, meaning it is going to be the very first comment in the comment box below. So let's see Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what May 16th to the 31st, 2019, that's 2019, has in store for you for finance and career. Taurus, May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. Taurus, May 16th to the 31st, 2019, finance and career. Taurus, May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. Taurus, May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. Taurus, May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. Taurus, May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. Taurus, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Taurus, May 16th. Okay, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, we have you right here as the Page of Pentacles. In finance readings, I like to see a lot of pentacles and a lot of, want, a lot of wands. Those wands for me represent career, pentacles, that's, of course, finances. So also, this is you as a Taurus shining through. You are an earth sign. You're represented by the pentacles in the minor arcana, and you're represented by the hierophant in the major arcana. So right here, there's something that you're learning. There's new aspects and new ideas that you're, you're coming to. You're crowned here by the Four of Swords. There is something that you've been protecting yourself against or you've been protecting yourself, all right? And now you're being told that Spirit is trying to connect with you, but you have to break that armor just a little bit because blessings are coming. Love is getting you forward. New opportunities, looking at things differently, looking at the horizon differently. There's something that you want to do that's kind of going to be a little bit surprising, a little bit like, oh wow, I never thought of that kind of mentality. That's what I'm getting from this card. So you're going to see that and you're going to start moving forward to that place that you want to be. At the root of everything is the six of pentacles. So you're going to feel like everybody has their hand out to you. Everybody wants a piece of you. Everybody wants something. And there, this could bring on arguments. Okay. So when I say I want to see wands. I don't necessarily want to see the five of wands because this will also be inner turmoil. So this could be having a fight with somebody because their expectations are unrealistic. All right. Or this can be feeling emotionally like you're being pulled all over the place and you need things to calm down and you need things to be centered. Yeah. Because thoughts, this is the darkness before the dawn. This is a sense of being overwhelmed. This is a sense of being kind of trapped yeah, feeling trapped, feeling caged. You do move forward though, especially with this Leo energy right here. So this is a time frame of July 21st to August 21st, where you start to feel yourself really move forward as you embrace the love that you want. You're being a student of what it is that you desire, but negativity from your past, things that you thought had been conquered in your past are going to come through. And you're going to see that you know, kind of this still needs a little bit of work or this person still, you know, kind of wants to see you fall or fail. So do be aware of that because you're going to be seeing things differently. And as you see things differently, it is going to bring that balance that you need within your life to come, within your finances. Because for some of you, you could be seeing the money go out a lot faster than it's coming in. For others of you, it can just be that everybody wants a piece of you. Everybody needs a piece of you. And you're just like, stop, just stop. Okay, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. May 16th to the 31st, Taurus, finance and career. May 16th to the 31st, Taurus, finance and career. Show me clearly. This card right here. Sanctuary. May 16th to the 31st, Taurus, finance and career. May 16th to the 31st, Taurus, finance and career. Right here, strength. So sanctuary and strength, finding that kind of safe place within your soul, within yourself to move you forward. It's going to be very, very, very beneficial. And knowing that your strength is, is unstoppable. You have an unstoppable strength here, Taurus. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. May 16th to the 31st, Taurus, finance and career. May 16th, ooh, goodness, okay. This one wants to be heard. 
And this is prosperity. I love it. And this one right here. And happiness. Oh, I love it. Okay, that makes me feel so much better. Not that this is bad, but this ending right here was not the best thing in the world that I wanted to see. So now that we have the Witchling guidance cards being prosperity and happiness, we have sanctuary and strength moving you forward. This is, this is a very good sign. Okay, so just give me a minute. Okay, so we have here prosperity. And this says, know that you deserve things, you deserve all things wondrous and believe that you can have them, prosperity. And the color that stands out to me here is orange, and that's healing and cleansing your sacral chakra to be able to move forward in the prosperity that you want. Now that's negativity held within the sacral chakra, the second chakra, from this life, from past lives. So healing and cleansing that really will help you move forward to where it is that you want to be and to embracing the prosperity that you want to have within your life. Then we have happiness. And it says, if happiness is what you want, then happy you shall be. So this is going after your happiness. This is saying, you know, you have the power to choose that emotion and choose that emotion with gusto. Because focusing on your happiness is going to be something that helps you find the balance, that helps you move forward in this love and in this prosperity that is wanted. Sanctuary. These are your fairy guidance cards. Within your heart, a space of regenerating sanctuary awaits. Always turn inward. When it gets to be too, too much, turn inward. Find kind of your happy place. And embrace that happy place within. And then strength. Strength is born from the will of the heart. So know that coming through this with a place of love, from a place of love, is going to be absolutely beneficial for you. Because right here, we have you, Taurus. We have you learning, understanding, gaining new ideas, gaining new insights. And this is you taking this understanding to move you forward to that place that you want to be. All right, so there's something that you are learning that is at the heart of all of this. And it can be, you know, putting down your foot and claiming your voice. And it can be, you know, looking at things and saying where I am right now isn't where I want to be. So I'm going to focus on learning and understanding and gaining the knowledge that I need to move myself forward. Now, for those of you who that is the case for, this is saying that it is going to be a journey. Well, for every single Taurian watching, this is going to be a journey. The last half of May is going to be a bit of a journey. It has here this sense of, you know, of needing to fight for what it is that you want. And I'm not saying that to discourage you, and I'm not saying that to put you down. I'm saying that so that you know to stand strong, to use that inner strength, to keep focused on your prosperity and keep focused on what makes you happy so that you can achieve and succeed the way that you want to embracing where it is that you want to be so this is abundance coming but this is learning this is gaining a, a certain perspective this is taking you know getting messages from spirit to help you move forward and that's going to help you claim the prosperity that you want because at the heart of this reading is prosperity but it's being a student of your prosperity for a lot of you Torians, you have the Four of Swords. Oh, well, for all of you Torians, you have the Four of Swords. But for a lot of you, there has been this kind of winter that you've been going through. And this winter has been for a time. All right? That's for a lot of you. For some of you, it's only been relatively recently that you've been feeling overworked, underappreciated, stressed. And when you go to sleep at night, you do not fully recharge your battery. You don't. So what this is saying here is that spirit is trying to connect with you, but because you are so stressed, because there are so many demands on you, this is saying that spirit isn't able to connect with you as strongly as they want to. So making sure you take time for yourself, making sure you take time to rest, making sure you kind of tune out the world when you go to sleep at night, that's going to be very, very important because here you're going through this winter. And when the spring comes, there's a thaw that's going to come through, and the spring is following this winter right here. As the spring comes, you're going to find that you're embracing the love, the joy, the prosperity that you want. And this spring is blessing you with love. The Nine of Cups is saying Venus is blessing you with love. You are having your cup runneth over. And as it overflows, you're sharing the prosperity, the bounty, the joy, the happiness with others. So embrace that. Embrace the bounty that you want. Embrace the way that you're moving forward. 
embrace this love that's coming because this love that's coming is showing you new opportunities with the three of wands. New opportunities are coming in. This can be new people coming. This can be, you know, looking at different ideas, really seeing things differently, knowing how it is that you want to move forward and where it is that you want to be. Now, this can be you saying, you know, Dean, I don't know exactly how I want to move forward or where exactly I want to be. This is saying here that there, there is a sense of your ships coming in. You're going to see that your hard work is paying off. And as your hard work pays off, you're going to get a better idea of where you want to go to next, of what you want to achieve next, of how you want to move forward. So that is really quite beautiful. And then also, as your ships are coming in, you're going to send your ships well out. You're going to say, okay, I can do this. Now I'm going to try this. I'm going to expand here. I'm going to understand there. I'm going to bring more and more into my life and into my understanding to move me forward to that place that I want to be. There is a ship if you can see this third ship kind of comes from behind or, you know, it's kind of coming from nowhere, you're going to see that there's something, there's something that you need. There's something that you want. There's something that's missing. And that knowledge, that understanding is going to come kind of from left field. It's going to kind of come from behind and you're going to sit there and say, Oh, okay, that's what I understand. And this is going to be mostly in career. Now this is also going to come after you get super frustrated. After you sit there and feel like, I'm never going to move ahead, I'm never going to get there, this is just a waste of time, I can't believe what's going on, and then you're going to see things start to change. You're going to see things start to move forward because you are being crowned right here, in this little bit right here, you are being crowned by this being a student of saying, okay, this is just another puzzle to solve. And you might not like puzzles or you might love puzzles, but this is saying here that by stepping back, you know, whether you like this puzzle or not, it, it's kind of coming. So stepping back and saying, okay, this is where the chaos is. But by looking at things, by understanding things, by taking more information in, I can change that. And I can move forward to the prosperity, to the abundance that I want. Now, the repeat of the number five, this is all about freedom. This is all about needing to embrace your freedom, needing to embrace what it is that you desire, how it is that you're moving forward. This is saying here that for the last half of May, you need to be free. And by embracing your freedom, there's going to be people that try to drag you down. As you embrace your freedom, as you start to rise, they want to see you fall. Okay? They want to keep you small. Don't let them keep on moving forward. Okay? It might be that you stumble and it might be that, you know, you start questioning yourself. But do not let negativity take away the prosperity that is coming. Do not let it cage you down. Okay? Because here... This is everybody wanting a piece of you. This is, you know, demands being put on your time, everybody wanting a piece of you, looking at things, trying to understand things and saying, okay, how do I move forward? How do I move forward to where it is that I need to be, to what it is that I desire? Give to the people who truly need you. Because as I said, everybody's going to have their hand out. And some people, they're just going to have to wait. And it might be, you know, upsetting to tell them, you know, you have to wait or I can't do that. And you might feel disappointed within yourself. But here... This is saying you have the prosperity. You hold the coins. You have the prosperity. You have what it is that they're looking for. So saying, just wait. Just hold on. Just give me a minute. That's going to be absolutely important for you. Absolutely. Without a doubt. That is going to be important. So making sure that you have balance within yourself first before you try to help everybody else. That is going to be one of the key things for you during the last half of May. Balance, balance, balance. And it can be that you feel very easily out of balance in May. And that can lead to frustration, which leads to you being a student, again, of where it is that you want to be, of how it is that you're moving forward, why this chaos is coming in, which says here, you have to rest more. You have to take care of yourself better because divine, the divine, your angels, are trying to give you messages to help you move forward, but they can't get through, okay, unless you rest, unless you find that balance within yourself. Okay, this is going to help you move forward in business towards blessings. Here, this is chaos. You might feel that chaos within. You might be like, oh my gosh, this is so me. I feel like I'm being, you know, because you're being pulled all these different directions that you sit there and you think, oh my gosh, how am I going to get this done? Or it can be just snapping and being like, you know what? I'm tired. I'm not going to do this anymore. I don't know what the heck you expect of me, but stop. So I would suggest not saying that to people because, you know, it's, it can come across aggressive, 
But what I'm seeing here is a sense of being like, okay, I can't meet expectations because they're unrealistic. And for some of you, you just have to have to say that, you know, these expectations are unrealistic and they're not what I want. And this can lead to arguments, but stand your ground, stand your ground as you move forward. Yes, compromise and everything like that, but do, and do not get involved in other people's arguments for the last half of May. They're, it's their battle. It's not yours. Don't get pulled into it. This is more inner chaos. This is more inner frustration, okay, which can over bubble into, you know, the workplace, into, you know, the way that things are being handled, but keep centered within yourself to move you forward. Express this, but if you can express this through exercise, if you can express this frustration or release this frustration, again, through exercise, through, you know, just going for a walk, through taking a moment for yourself and reading a book or doing something like that, I would suggest something more physical, but if you need to just step back and say, okay, I need to take a me time, do so. Because this chaos here, this is not beneficial to you and it will not help you, but it is the chaos that leads you to seeing something new. So this isn't entirely bad. This chaos leads you to seeing something new, seeing the imbalance because something happens that gets your attention and you're like, whoa, wait, no, and leads to new ideas coming in, new ships coming in, being able to send things out differently, being able to see, you know, different, different ways of doing things. And then we have the 10 of cups, the 10 of cups, the 10 of swords, the 10 of swords is saying here, you feel overwhelmed. It's too much. It's being way too much in your own head. If you put everything on your shoulders, Taurus, the last half of May will feel like a failure. And I know that's not what you want to hear, but it's just the truth. So do not put every single expectation, every single thing on your shoulders, because you will feel as if you are being held back. You feel as if you're being held down, as if you will never get to where it is that you want to be. But this is actually the darkness before the dawn. This is the comprehension before the light comes. This is also overkill. This is seeing a situation and it being chaos, yes, and then it becoming bigger and bigger and bigger within your mind. So kind of step back, look at things, calm yourself, calm your thoughts and say, okay, I can get this. Because when you move this way from the doubts and the fears comes love, comes strength to move forward. And this is actually coming because issues from the past that were supposed to be, you know, kind of gone, that were supposed to be dealt with, they're coming up again and they're making you question yourself as you move forward. So let's see here. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Ten of Swords for Taurus, May 16th to the 31st, 2019. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Ten of Swords, Taurus, May 16th to the 31st, 2019. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Ah, goodness, okay. Right here, because, 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 okay. So here, yeah, the Ten of Swords brings, and I love it, that it goes this way, at the heart is the Nine of Pentacles. So it is a sense of prosperity coming, abundance coming. It leads towards the nine of cups, which is love and harmony coming in. So that is absolutely beautiful. You're carrying too much. You're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, Taurus, and you have to let some of it go. This is saying that other people's, other people's problems with the five of, five of wands, that's their problem. You can't fix it. You can't fix it. Seven of pentacles. Ooh, I don't have enough room. Goodness. Seven of Pentacles right here. This is, this is yielding a crop. You know, this is having to weed. You're, you're getting there. You're getting there. The weaver, you are creating, you are building, you are understanding, you are putting together thoughts, you're putting together ideas that were once chaos. Oh, that's it. These thoughts were once chaos. And you're going to think, oh my gosh, I can never get them there. For some of you, it is thinking of something new. It's looking at something differently. And you're going to think, oh my gosh, I can never get there. I can never get there. You, there's a certain way to weave it together. Yes. This is saying 
visualize, 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 visualize what it is that you want. Visualize how it is that you want it to move forward. And as you visualize, you're going to find that the chaos starts to fall into alignment because this isn't visualizing just, you know, daydreaming. This is seeing it, feeling it, believing it. And that starts to change it and move you forward to the place that you want to be. Meaning it starts to make it real within your mind to move you forward. At the center of this is the Knight of Cups. This is a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. But this is also love guiding you forward. That's why the Nine of Cups here is so important. Love guides you forward. The Four of Swords is being repeated right here. You need need to take a break for yourself. You need to take time just to sit, just to be quiet, to give thanks for the battle that you have been through and that you have come out of it. Yes, you might be battered and bruised, but you have come out. And now you have the chariot right here, which is reiterating this knight of swords, which is repeating the knight, knight of swords, the knight of cups, which is saying that which is the cancer energy, which is a water sign energy. So moving forward in love, chariot represents the cancer energy. This is June 21st, July 21st, the way that you start to move forward, the way that you embrace things. Venus, again, because of the star right here, it's the star of Venus is moving you forward. Then you have the maiden of wands. The maiden of wands is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is passion. This is defending what is yours. This is, yeah. and then this is moving forward. This is taking your knowledge, your understanding and saying, okay, I'm done with the battle. Now it is time to move forward. And your last card is the two of wands. You're looking towards the future. You're looking towards where it is that you want to be. And you're saying, okay, I have the knowledge. I have the understanding. I'm done with the battle. This is being done with the battle to move forward with the prosperity. Your subconscious message, yeah, is strength. Strength here is absolutely important. So it's either a strong Leo presence in your life for the last half of May, Taurus, or it is a sense of, of your compassion, your kindness, being one of your greatest allies. Now here we have the Strength card, the Five of Swords, and the Hangman. Hangman, no, the Hangman. The Strength card is saying you have unlikely allies that are going to help you move forward, just like here, okay? A woman and a, and a dragon, a knight and a boar. These are unlikely allies. Especially since entails, you know, maidens are usually sacrificed to dragons and boars and knights are enemies because knights hunt boars. So here you have this kind of dichotomy coming in and you're going to find that you have unlikely allies that help you move forward. People maybe that you wouldn't have expected to be on your side are going to be on your side or you're going to see things differently and it's going to change the way that you're going after what it is that you want. Negativity from the past, past battles that you thought were won, they're going to kind of creep up again. So just be prepared for that. And that's going to be what makes you feel overwhelmed because you're going to sit there and think, oh my gosh, I was finally free from this. And then something is going to come up within your finances, within your career that brings you back to a place that was rather negative. And that's why you need your strength to move you forward. But it's going to bring something up that you hadn't looked at before, that you hadn't seen. And it's going to make you change the way that you're viewing things. Change your mind, change your life is almost what the hangman says here. You feel at times trapped between two worlds. There's two things that you want to be accomplishing or two ways that you want to move forward. Courage is guiding you. Okay, the lion's head here in the strength and on the pillars. Courage is guiding you. Strength is guiding you as you move forward, as you look at things differently. Right? So at times you will feel caught between two worlds. That's actually going to be a blessing for you because it's going to help you see things that other people do not see. And it's going to help you move forward in ways that other people can't move forward in. All right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Your clarifying card is the seven of wands. The seven of wands is saying you're going to feel as if you have to defend yourself, defend where you stand. Don't waste your energy. You have too much to do. You have too much to do. At work, with your decisions, you're going to feel as if you have to defend yourself. You don't. You don't, Taurus. Keep on moving forward and let everybody else deal with their own issues. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. If you've made it all the way to the end, bravo. Thank you sp for spending this time with me. It's been absolutely wonderful. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. And may harmony always be with you. Bye.